Welcome back guys, the DIY adventure. So, we are talking rear party garage conversion today. So, plans have changed in the home, I need to get the back part of the garage converted. I've got six months, you can probably work out what that means, but I need to get this piece converted. So, as you can see, this is where we're at. All this is coming out. Um, and yeah, I'll flip over to the next clip so you guys can see what the plans are and what we're doing. So, we're starting the garage conversion. Now, <clears throat> this is a project I've been wanting to do for a long time. So, as you can see, I'm just stood at the door. The garage conversion will be a part garage conversion. There's all the rubbish. We won't go into much detail. Stud partition wall here. The length of it is around two meters by three meters in length. This bench will stay exactly as it is. However, I'll be lowering it down. It'll be resting on a set of IKEA drawers in the corner and we'll most likely have some IKEA legs to help the stabilization. But the main thing is the floor's all getting ripped up. I'm going to dismantle the side of the workbench. I need to take the ladders out they're going out the garage i need to move the alarm it's going to go to the right hand side over here and um, i need to start running some sockets around the outside here so i'm probably going to have a couple of doubles along the side there and i'm going to supply these doubles off a spur from the main ring but i'm also going to run a cable i'm going to label it and put it here i'm going to run a cable in the same direction I'll bring a little bit of plastic conduit up the wall, a bit of capping, and just behind the back of this breeze block is the um, is the board. So we'll run straight into the board with a spare cable, and I'll label that up. In terms of how far I go, I will put the sockets in. We'll get everything done, and then what I'll do is uh, very fortunate enough that my dad's uh, an electrician, so I'll call him in. We'll do all of our testing that we need to do and we'll make sure he'll make sure that he's happy with them and that we we'll signed them off. What I will do is I can put the cable to the board, but I won't terminate into the board. Unfortunately, that's not something that I do. As far as I go, I go to sockets, lighting, um, and if you're not confident, get a qualified electrician. So yeah, as you can see, the room's going to be quite a nice room, nice sized office. Chair's going to sit roughly around here. So plenty of space behind the back of us being able to, or me being able to move around, etc. Now this is an office stroke gaming room. So um, I'm going to be plasterboarding this wall, this wall, and this wall first. Um, once they're plasterboard, once all this rubbish is out of the way, um, I will then plaster board the walls and I'll plaster them myself. And then what I'll do is I'll probably build the stud wall. So this stud wall will get built. Um, but what I'll do is I'll probably get it studded up sort of halfway across the floor first, just so I can at least still traffic through and get things through. Um, done this before, very easy project. Uh, there's insulation under this floor, so I'm gonna take all this up so I can get some flooring down. The walls are gonna be dot and dabbed um, all the electrics are going to be running, so a 2.5mm cable um, around the bench. So I'll get a laser level out, mark up where they go. They'll all be covered in capping as well, so they'll be covered in capping. I'll use 25mm back boxes, and um, yeah, I'll get them first and sort of first fixed around this week. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Can't wait to start the project, and it'll be nice to have a downstairs office. In terms of the garage space, um still three quarters of a garage space here there's a lot of junk behind me you can see in some of the clip here all oh, this will get sorted out um it's it's dead rubbish anyway to be honest it's 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 stuff that we don't need um but unfortunately you keep it in i mean look at that that's a cable box the top one's got 1.5 mil cable in a couple of 2.5 mil some earth sleeve in here's a little example some 1.5 cable, some earth sleeving, just anything and everything. So yeah, 
Uh, stay tuned guys, this is going to be the DIY garage conversion. There's a lot of new builds out there that really want this type of um, piece of work done in their garage. And I think it's because um, we need that extra space. Now, I might put a door in here into the garage still because I do a lot of DIY. So I could open the door, come in, then open another door to get into the garage. That's what I'm thinking. So yeah, stay tuned. Please head over to YouTube, like, subscribe and comment. There'll be a lot more content coming from me. I'm running two projects now along side by side, one for the garden renovation project and one for the internal office. Between me and you, I've only got less than six months to get this space transformed. I imagine it will probably take me um, a couple of weekends, which should be good. So thanks for watching, guys.